Hey guys, it's me, Blippy. No, just kidding. It's me, Mark. What's going on? <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Blippy is my nephew's favorite car guy on YouTube. So Blippy, big shout out to your brother. Awesome videos. Um, anywho, guys, what's up? It's Mark. This, my friends, is a 2004 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LS. 4.8 liter V8 engine. Um, pros and cons to it. It's a cheap pickup truck. Cons, uh, it's got a rebuilt title. Okay, it was a trade-in. Uh, we did the best we could to it, fixing it up. What did we do to it? Put new brakes on it. New rear brake shoes, I think it was, from past inspection. Headlights were cloudy. We said the hell of that. We replaced the brand new headlights. Check it out. We put brand new headlights and turn signal lights on it. Both brand new lenses, upper and lower. Brand new, upper and lower. Brand, brand new. Didn't even hesitate to say, oh, you know, let's try to buff them out and spend 60 bucks and waste our money. Then we really could, we're in the realization we only could have spent 20 more and bought brand new suckers. Anyways, the hell with that. So this is a 2004 Silverado 1500. Got a little bit of mileage on it. Got a few... Uh, quarks here and there. Let's go check it out. Everybody always asks me, Mark, what do you unzipper your zipper for? Your zipper is always undone. Here's the reason, guys. Probably about 80% of my heat in most people <laughs> comes from down low. <laughs> so when I open it, about 10% more airflow through my crotch. Therefore, allows me to breathe better. I feel more ventilated. It's like if you clogging your vehicle up with a uh, your air filter, putting a plastic bag around it. Not going to work. So that's why. Um, <laughs> tires on this. Guys, these, my friend, are Wild Country Radial X XTX tires. They're a 265, 75, 16 inch tire um, on a 16 inch rim. Basic rim, stock OEM rim, nice tire. Aggressive looking tire, but about 90% tread on them. So the rear is pretty good. Also, you got about 90% tread left on too. All four matching tires. I'd say about these probably these tires are probably got two months old, three months old. 90%, 95% tread, pretty new. Um, the driver's side, the truck's in pretty decent shape for what it is, to be honest with you. Look, super, super glossy, shiny paint. It's not bad at all. You got like a few bubbles right here. You gotta come quick, we're making the video quick. You got like some very small bubbling in the front right there. All right, over here, um, the famous, the famous, I said it, cap corners and rocker panels, all right? This right here, is starting. The cap corner is fine. All right. This, I can't poke the key through. So it's not compromising the uh, molecular structure of the um, rocker panels. Now, on the other hand, the other side is already compromised. They're famous for it, guys. If you guys know these, this body style, they're famous for the cab corners and the rocker panels. Now, what's up with this one? I'm not even going to do that because I could probably rip this right off of the truck. So that's, yeah, that's gone. You can see it. They're just, it's, they're famous for it. And it only goes up to about here. But the good thing is a good body guy, you got, you can get these, uh, uh, replacement piece for it. All right. That's sheet metal. You go them off like eBay or Google a few places. Google, Google rocker panels for, a, you know, Cat Eye 0405, Silverado 1500, 2500, what have you. Yeah, of course, rocker panels. It'll come with a little sheet of metal like this thick whatever gauge steel it is and a whole brand new rocker panel if you have a good body guy he can cut that out weld it tack weld it mud it on cut this completely out and put it on i have seen some cheap ass's i'm not gonna say it on youtube because i know you guys are vulgar friendly um i've seen a few guys i hate to say this put it over the rocker panel and then mud it and then paint it talk about a half ass ed way to do things my god because the rust is going to come back. Rust only is gone in one way when you take care of it, and that's cutting it right out. It's cancer. It eats. The um, rest of the truck is not too bad. No, take a look in here. You get a little surface rust on the frame, not going to lie, okay? Um, wheels are kind of oxidized. Back bumper, same thing, all right? A little bit of rust in there. Can I have my key back? Thanks, bumper. Um, same thing over this side, starting right here, you know? But the bump, new bumper, brand new, my cost, if you guys go through me, is about, say, like 100 bucks, 125 bucks. It's okay. It's fine. You look inside here, no rust inside the back of the bed. All right. This is a speed liner, performance spray on truck bed liner. Really, really nice. It's in really great shape. So, is the work truck worth the money? Absolutely. Why? Because it's four wheel drive. 
you get your money out of it. It's a good work truck, hunting truck, snow truck, trash truck, whatever you want truck. Just like my right there, Denali. Check out that sucker. But that's for an additional $30,000 if you want that. But check this out, honestly. Here's the inside, all right? 4.8 liter engine, smells brand new inside. Not brand new, but it was just detailed. That's why it smells brand new inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, the truck has driver one, cool. Dri truck has, um, uh, come on, come on already. 222,433,000 miles on it. A lot of mileage, but they kept up on it. Maintenance has been really well, starts up good. <laughs> Bone stock, there's nothing done to it. Um, horn works, AC blows, ice cold. The headliner's sagging a little bit. The steering wheel has a rip in it right here from somebody fiddling with themselves in traffic. I don't know what you're doing in traffic, but I don't want to even touch that spot right there. <laughs> I'll hold off on touching that spot. Uh, you got a Kenwood single DIN CD player, Bluetooth. Um, you have power windows, driver and passenger. This is an extended cap, so it opens up like this, guys. Seat belts are all nicely folded up. I mean, the truck was cared for. You know, it's not bad. Look at the door jams. Door jams are fine. Another thing I check out, guys, check this out. Bottom of the door jam. See if for any rust or any crap like that. You will always try to hide the most you can, but it's very hard for somebody to fix the door jam, bottom of a door, without replacing the whole damn door. As you can see here, a little bit of oxidization, no rust. Here's the VIN number. Check that out. Put your Carfax on it. It's got a rebuilt title. All right, um, you're probably gonna ask me next, what is the rebuilt title for? Well, I'll be honest, I don't know because I didn't spend 60 bucks on pulling a Carfax on it because I'm selling the truck cheap enough. So there you have it. Um, I know it runs and drives good. I've driven it. I got it inspected by a Virginia State Inspection Station that we bring every single truck of mine to that gets vigorously inspected from top to bottom. They've been in business for over 30 some odd years. And I told them I do not want my vehicles taken lightly with that said my product that I deliver is superior it's you know if there's a ball joint easy to replace move ball joints if there's a tie rod that needs to replace new tie rod drag link uh, whatever anything of that nature I replace it because it's not worth my time to patch stuff or fix stuff up and go from there this truck right here passing Virginia State Inspection so hope you guys like the truck um, it runs and drives great. And with that said, it's almost 530. That's about um, time for some Jack and Coke. See you guys later. This is, oh, actually, these are my keys right there. But I'm going to pretend like I'm driving off in that truck when I'm really just going to drive to the end of the parking lot right here and call you. Say, Noah, come get this damn truck because I'm going to jump my Denali. So let me do that for the viewers. Got, where's the keys at? Oh, I have them back pocket. Sorry, I, why did I even say that? I could have, I could have <laughs> acted like it. Guys, I hope you have a great day. This is Mark signing out. Don't end the video until I'm all the way at the stop sign, Noah. Um, with the 2004, not 14, 2004, Chevy Silverado 1500 LS, 4.8 liter truck, pickup truck. Um, so yeah, I hear the uh, Jack and Coke calling my name. I, I, I'm wondering where my flask is at. Like my, I had a flask around here with my initials on it. I kept jacking it. I keep like a two liter bottle of Coke or even like a one ounce or 12 ounce can next to me so I can swig, chuck some Coke. Swig, chuck some Coke. Swig, chuck some Coke. Jack and Coke, Jack and Coke. So anyways, I'm out. See you guys later. Peace out, subscribe, hit the notification button. This is Mark, holler. Looks like I'm walking.